couple of years ago I salvaged some hat and coat stands and I used them to make loads of things like this tabletop, a neck for an electric guitar, this table frame and this chopping board. And I saved all the coat hooks from those so I decided to make some coat racks. I found a few pallets recently so I decided to use pallet wood for a rustic look. So I broke down the pallets into pieces and removed the nails. And I decided to use some of these wider pallet slats from one of the pallets to make the coat racks. I started by chopping off the ends where the nail holes were at the mitre saw. And I kept hold of those offcuts and marked up a line across them diagonally. And I made cuts following those lines on the bandsaw. These pieces would be brackets to hold a top shelf for the coat rack. I applied glue to the back of the brackets and nailed them in place to one of the boards with brad nails to hold them temporarily and then reinforced the joints later with some screws. Then I added another piece of the wood on top of those brackets which was glued and nailed in place. And then I added some F clamps just to get nice tight glue joints. I decided to paint the rack with some of this green paint that I found in my shed. This colour is called Sea Moss. And I painted it quite badly deliberately as I wanted these to look rustic so I painted it lightly and without trying to get it evenly covered. Then when the paint was dry I used my random orbit sander with a 40 grit disc to remove some of that paint to get it to look worn and weathered and also to smooth over this rough sawn wood and remove any splinters. Then I applied a coat of spray varnish to seal the paint and also to bring out the wood grain. Next I added the coat hooks. I first found the centre and added one hook there. And then I could position the others and five hooks looked to me like the right amount. I measured in about five centimetres from each side and added more hooks there. And then I found the centre in between the hooks that had been fitted and added hooks there too. I then did some final sanding by hand with some 120 grit paper. And added a final coat of spray varnish just to the top shelf and the sides of the rack where I had sanded by hand. Next I sanded a spot on the back of the rack in the centre so that I could add my maker's mark. And then I sealed that with spray varnish too. And I had enough of this wood to make two coat racks so I finished the second one with rustic pine brie wax just for a different look. So here are some pictures of the painted rack. And the next pictures are of the rack that was waxed. This was a nice quick project, it took around 4 hours in total and that was for both of the racks. And these were made to be sold on my new Etsy store. Check it out if you haven't already, there'll be a link in the description box below. Thanks for watching.